Hello Geminis and welcome to your November 2023 reading. So this month Gemini, um, all right, let's start. <laughs> the first card that comes in, I have the star, the two of cups and the nine of wands. So here, this is like a connection on the level of the soul. Okay, because the star talks about our purpose, talks about our souls, soul clan, soul alignment, and so on. That's why, you know, often the small definition will be, oh, you will get a gift or whatever. But it's from that alignment in remembering who we truly are. And then it is finally being mirrored out there. So you might, have, therefore, in the shape of something that really suits your soul. And in this case, it's like a beautiful connection. It can be love-wise, friends-wise, partner-wise, whatever. But this is beautiful. With the Nine of Wands, well, it's because beautiful Geminis did not always have great connections and were hurt uh, by many so when this comes even though it's aligned with who you truly are you're kind of wary about it mm, not so sure but you decide to be an old pirate about it in the sense of okay I went from i went through a couple of storms in my life but i know my boat and i love life and i'm gonna dare it and go for it and then we finish with the knight of cup so this is really nice, okay? So this connection arrives after a long time waiting where nothing was happening. The garden was dry. And here, this is what it's telling us. And then we have uh, the divine timing card. It is happening now because you've healed you're seeing the bigger picture. You've probably changed some of your core beliefs. You realigned your desires of, yes, I want to live a connection like this, or this is what I'm actually going to attract. I'm attracting something that is no longer in the, uh, let's say, in the line of what you've known, which were maybe you know, based on abandonment and based on unbalanced relationship where uh, you felt like this. Ten of sword, you're conscious of all these lies at this moment. And that's why you, this is the bottom. We're not going lower than this. We had, there's no more swords to be put in our spine. Now it's time to heal. And it, it's the time to be healed. Not healing as a whole process to be done. We're in the, you entering the month in that divine timing because of that. And that is why at that point you're allowing that alignment with what you need uh, for this. Maybe that full moon in Taurus eclipse allowed you to when it comes to your worth, value, and all of that, allowed you to eclipse uh, what you needed uh, on this. Under our Knight of Wands, I have the Devil, and I have the Three of Wands, Strength, Four of Wands. So, the let's say that the leftover of the Devil at this point is by telling you that the threshold where on the other side, yes, everything can be dandy, fine, people wanting to rejoice with you, you're wanted, um, you see, they're happy to see you, they're welcoming you. It's like the final welcome. And here, yes, it's going to take that night of one, it's going to take that fire, it's going to take the strength of soul strength, okay? Force d'âme, soul strength, is not an expression in English, but 
in French, this is what makes heroes. This is what makes um, people that have that inner strength that can pull them because they, their soul knows and is stronger at that point than what their ego, their body is trying to protect them from. Okay? And that is what opens up the arising. So that's why you finish with the Knight of Cups. Under that, the Pope. So if we look at this row, we have was waiting, nothing was happening. Here's my Saturn and my limiting beliefs that is trying to keep me into what I've always known. But now, the follow-up of the story, now I have that kind of inner sovereignty okay because the pope is between the causal plane and the higher mental in this tree here uh, in the sense where the higher causal plane is you know higher than the the human experience it's really on the soul level here and so he's on that path if you see between this and this so he's able to apply high understandings of how the world works what all the information that the high priestess has he received it and he knows how to apply it he knows how to choose what will be banished and what will take flesh what will be my reality i will be able to um i have dominion on a moral stand discernment stand uh, and understanding in my application of my spirituality concrete application of spirituality that's why he's like the hierophant the high priest that keeps that keeps the rituals to do as above so below opposite to all you see is all there is you won't get anything more than that uh, so here getting sovereignty over uh, my devil and then queen of sword upright my vision no bullshit queen but i'm not seeing things through the lens of my past wounds or anything like that i have a clear vision of what is in front of me let's clarify this i call upon the divine I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Gemini's for the month of November 2023. November 2023. Gemini. All right. Let's see. Show me that star here with the two of cups. Okay. Uh, we are releasing. We are entering in a Scorpio season also. So this, this is Venus in Scorpio. When Venus has a hard time exalting her... Um, principalities of unconditional love and and abundance and so on and when it's like this it's because she arrives in scorpio that did not clean the old wounds properly so when that vibration arrives it makes everything that is opposite of it spur up like a cloud in front of us and we have a hard time reading the waters reading the mood reading the feelings and all of that 
we're lost in a cloud of unknowing of am I am I loved what's my future like I'm trying to make movies or my perception is completely blurred um, I have the moon in reverse a lot of things probably were uh, revealed to you maybe during that Taurus full moon uh, your inner conflicts were revealed to you uh, so that's good let's look at that seven of pentacle the seven of pentacle is with the uh, hermit in reverse and the sun in reverse so that's why him see the, those two ones that they are holding that's your willpower that's your fire this one is completely static he's exhausted he's looking at this there's no more efforts being done on that garden and this one is supposed to advance following his inner light but here he doesn't listen to his inner light the sun is not there anymore so this is addressing the moon revealed a state within yourself where maybe you you're uh, not that you gave up but there was you know the sun wasn't reaching the joy the expression of self in a free naked on a white horse level just in that inner wisdom and, and inner knowing of the hermit this was kind of creating the conflict within yourself and this was revealed to you uh, with the moon okay let's look at uh, the temperance and this is part of uh, what is still had a hold on you from as long as you you weren't able to listen to your uh, all right there's our new spark and i'm not resisting anymore kind of um i'm dropping these ones unguided one and the one that gave up i'm dropping this this is when we're ceasing combat just before coming back from the war i'm I'm, not, I'm stopping the resistance of no this is not happening to me or um, um, what was preventing you from doing this okay we have a beautiful page of ones I'm going from having to fight in life and and you know push through to being enthusiastic and light so there's that beautiful readjustment of the fire here okay and that's why that page of wands becomes a knight of wands so where are you going like this gemini and the knight of wands this is when we decide to be sorry this is when we decide to be in the here and now not in the past anymore not projecting ourselves in the future but just in the here and now and that's an energy that we need okay here we need to move past uh, move past the incapacity to know how to cross that threshold and go to the place where here it's a repeat this is almost like i'm gonna go anyway even if I'm still not in a state of being where I can perceive this reality as being all upright, light, welcoming, joyful. But it's my aspiration. There's the eight-pointed star of the star card. That insight that gave me the page is like motor in my car. <laughs> this is how I'm going to be able to transcend um this guy let's look at this guy Ooh, transcend more than transcend we're bringing it down okay beautiful you see now i can perceive that yes i can have love coming towards me because every time he would tell me 
uh, no, not for you, uh, you're hanging there, n nothing's happening, nothing's happening for you, and you can't even feel that truth inside of you, this is coming down. And here the strength of being, and we have the repeat of the tree of wands, tree of wands. So really, ah, oh, it's happening and it's coming. I can actually conceive it coming in my life. Here is our death. Here is our two of wands. Yes, he's, he's crumbling. We're transforming the old Gemini that wasn't able to get that alignment or that vision of whatever this is. Uh, the new mirrors of of people bringing a cup towards you or whatever. Um, here I have the high priestess that is going to guide the Pope in this transformation. Knight of Cups. What is the Knight of Cups? So it's really uh, you're reconnecting with, you know, what your soul always known to be true. Uh, but now you're ready to experiment it. And that is beautiful because the past is finished. Okay, and here we have another night. Uh, night, night, night. A lot of movement for you. Um, and all the nights are uh, represent mutable. Okay, so transformation, muting, <laughs> not muting like shutting up, but uh, mutating. And this is Gemini on top of it. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's fire and Gemini. So, movement, fast movement. Let's look at the Pope. Ah, the Pope is going to make you stop sabotaging yourself and relieve the status quo where you weren't receiving. Um, because here, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacle, there is, there's, this is going to ultimately release your possibility to have something concrete based on that alignment, a connection, something you love, maybe entering in, you know, new people coming into your life that are more uh, aligned mentally with you. Um, but you're not disempowering yourself anymore. That's for sure. Here, no more sadness. And here's our knight, our knight of cups. Here is our four of uh, pentacle. In that sense, there's like some of you, I think, will kind of fight off this a little bit. Some will clear it all the way bang at the end of the month it's clear others of you will maybe still hold on to a bit of the old stuff still being safe or maybe some of you need to recuperate your energy you know um, take back uh, what you were maybe spreading yourself a bit too, too thin there you're gonna give it back but here, finishing with the Knight of Cups, this is like, wow, movement forward. And with my heart in my hand, I have my truth. I know how to apply it. Uh, a big change here. Allowing, allowing that cup in your life will change your... Um, will release what was on a hold on, let's say. The garden was dry, now you'll be able to hear your soul. Hear your soul, that's what I'm gonna call it. Because with all those chariot movement forward, it is your soul's calling and you're gonna follow it. So hear your soul, Gemini. So on this, I am sending you all my love and light. 
And thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Please subscribe to help grow the channel. If you want a private reading, there's the website below uh, under the video in the plus section. I will never put a phone number or whatever in the comment section. If you see that, even if it's written Mystic Witch, it's not me. All right. So don't fall for it. Um, also, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. Uh, so on the new moons and full moons, I ask the divine to give you back in the way that you need. And so on this, namaste, all my love. May the light prevail in our wild world. And I'll see you next month.